Remember these two rules that we saw earlier. Limit as x tends to infinity of 1 over x to the k is equal to 0. Limit as x tends to infinity of x to the k equals infinity, as long as the exponent is greater than 0. Let's use these two rules to figure out some other limits. Let's start with this example. x squared plus 3x over 1 minus 4x squared. To work out this example, we'll divide numerator and denominator by x squared. That is, we'll multiply this whole expression by 1 over x squared divided by 1 over x squared. This amounts to multiplying the whole expression by 1, so it hasn't changed the value of the expression. But we can use this trick to help simplify. The way we chose the x squared was we picked the highest power in the denominator. And that's always going to work out really well to simplify these expressions. What it becomes in this case is we distribute the 1 over x squared through, and we have x squared over x squared, 3x over x squared, and similarly on the denominator. And now each individual term can be simplified. x squared over x squared cancels out, x over x squared will cancel out, leave an x in the denominator. And then similarly in the denominator, so we end up with 1 plus, we just are left with a 3 over x there, 1 over x squared, minus 4. And now we can apply this rule to the 1 over x and the 1 over x squared. So the 1 over x is going to go off to 0 because this is 1 over x with k equals 1. And so that goes off to 0 by what we learned earlier. And this 1 over x squared is also going to go off to 0 because, again, k is greater than 0 and it's 1 over something. So as x tends to infinity, those two pieces go to 0. And we're just left with 1 plus 0 over 0 minus 4, which is minus a quarter. And that's the answer. So we can use this technique of multiplying numerator and denominator by 1 over x to the highest power in the denominator, and that's always going to work out to be something nice. Let's see another example where that's going to work out for us. We have x plus 5x cubed over x plus 1. We look for the highest power in the denominator. That's just an x, x to the first power. So we multiply top and bottom by 1 over x. We distribute the 1 over x through. The x over x will cancel out to be 1. The x cubed over x will cancel out to be x squared. And we'll just be left with 1 plus 5x squared over 1 plus 1 over x. The x squared tends off to infinity. That's what this rule says. So we can use this rule now to say that x squared is going to tend off to infinity. The 1 over x will tend off to 0 by this rule. So we're left with 1 plus 5 times infinity over 1. Well, pretty clearly, 1 plus 5 times something getting really large should go off to infinity. And the answer here is, in fact, this expression goes off to infinity. So when we deal with expressions that look like some polynomial divided by a polynomial, there's sort of a race going on. Which is going to go to infinity faster? In this case, the numerator won the race. The numerator went faster than the denominator, and we ended up with infinity. In this case, it was kind of like a tie. The x squared and the x squared well, they ended up balancing out as a pretty close game, and we ended up with minus a quarter. This is how we can figure out limits at infinity of polynomials divided by polynomials, and this is going to be used when we get to integration.